Hi, I am Arthur and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be talking about the Simbox software. I'm the developer of this project, but I'm also a real world pilot. Since I started using flight simulators, I was always missing something. That's why I decided to create this product. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use it. I hope you'll enjoy it. If you're not familiar with Simbox yet, this is a quick summary. This software is designed to enhance your flight simulator experience by adding an extra level of realism. It works with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 12. With Simbox, you can control various aspects like autopilot, lights, radio and transporter of your aircraft directly from your smartphone, tablet or web browser. If you purchased a Simbox version with DIY project, you can also use a knob to control your simulator. Check out the video with built instructions. Simbox project consists of two apps, Simbox Control and client app called just Simbox, which is made for smartphones and web. Simbox Control is an app that runs on your PC and exchange data and events between simulator and client app. Simbox Client App is an app that runs on your mobile device or in web and communicates with Simbox Control. You can use it to control your simulator and you'll see that in a moment. Ok, at this point it's important to understand that Simbox is based on aircraft profiles and has a built-in profile editor. Profiles are simple JSON files that describe how to control and fetch data from your aircraft. So basically, Simbox is a tool to consume and process profiles for different planes and simulators. Hopefully, you'll get better understanding of this concept after watching this video. Good, let's now jump into the software and see how it works. First, let's start Simbox control program. You should find it on your desktop and in your start menu. Okay. Here it is. If you didn't activate your license yet, you'll see this red dot flashing. Go to the license page to activate your product. If you don't have license yet, you can still use Simbox, but in very limited mode. Only radio and lights pages will be available for a few minutes. Ok, now when you have activated your license, we can go to the main page. Here you can see if Simbox control is connected to simulator and to DAY knob. You can use that QR codes to open Simbox client on your web or mobile device. If you click this one, web version will be opened in your browser. Before we go further, let's take a quick look at the plugins page. There is currently only one plugin available. Make sure you hit the install button and restart your simulator before we continue. If you plan to use explain only, you can skip this step. Simbox control will automatically detect explain once it's running and will connect it. Ok, now let's jump into the simulator. A few moments later. I'm currently in my home airport in Poland, Eko Papa Whiskey Alpha, in PMDG Boeing 737 aircraft. First thing we need to do is to check if plugin was installed correctly. You can find it in your toolbar, just click it. It's highlighted when it's active. Its state will be saved between simulator sessions. Now Let's check Simbox control. You can see that it's connected to simulator. Great. Now take your phone or tablet or both and open Simbox app. Make sure it's in the same network as your PC. At the bottom of this page you will find all latest connections. Put your computer IP address in the window. Your IP is visible in control program. You can also scan QR code visible in control program. Voila! You are now connected. You should see profile selection page. 
some of the profiles may be selected automatically, however if it didn't happen, just pick one from the list. Now, you are in the main page. You have access to all pages that are available in your profile. In this case, it's autopilot, lights, radio and transponder. Let's take a quick look at the autopilot page. Layout of that windows and buttons matches the real aircraft. If you want to activate heading mode, just click the button. This will send command to simulator to activate heading mode. Every button works the same way. Now let's change heading. You can use virtual knob or real knob if you have one. You can use mouse scroll wheel as well. Let's try to change this while you're in a browser. Use scroll wheel to increase or decrease heading value. Great, now let's move to iPad app. You can enable virtual knob here in settings. Now, if you focus on a heading window, you can use virtual knob to change heading. Swipe left or right to change heading value. Little vibrations were added to make it more realistic. Ok, we've tried two methods of changing value. Now let's try to use real knob. I've printed the knob from DIY project. Great, it works. The best thing is that you can use all of those methods at the same time. You can even open Simbox client app on many devices at the same time. Data is synchronized between all of them. Let's move further. This is lights page. You can turn on and off landing lights, taxi lights, beacon, strobe, nav and logo lights. As you can see it's also matching real aircraft. Each switch has multiple click areas. You can read more about it in documentation. Next, we have radio page. You can change COM1, COM2 and NAV1 standby frequencies. Those inputs are a bit different. They are controlled by double knob, which consists of upper and lower knob. Simbox is ready for this kind of input. You can use virtual knob or real knob to change different parts of the frequency. If you are using web version, imagine that screen is divided into two halves. Left part is lower knob. And right part is upper knob. Now, depending on your mouse position, when you scroll, you'll change different parts of the frequency. Same mechanism applies to all places where double knob is used. If you're using up version, you can use virtual knob to change different parts of the frequency. You'll simply see two scroll bars, one for upper knob and one for lower knob. If you are using real knob, you can use it to change different parts of the frequency out of the box. It was designed and put together with this in mind. Time for transponder page. You can change transponder code and mode. These three inputs works like knobs.
Keep in mind that for Boeing that guys represent upper and lower knob. Same concepts as presented here apply to all profiles. Some planes are specific and have additional features. Let's quickly take a look at Airbus. Now I'm in Lisbon Airport in fly-by-wire A320neo. As you probably know, to set heading mode in Airbus, you need to pull heading button. To go to managed mode, you have to push it. You can also achieve that by virtual knob or real knob. In virtual knob, you'll get a little buttons here. On real knob, well, you just have to push or pull it. This is how lights page look for Airbus. Explain works similarly. The difference is you don't have to install any plugin. Simbox control will automatically detect explain and connect to it. Before the end, I'd like to show you some more of Simbox control. You're already familiar with homepage, but also with plugins page and license page. Let's take a look at profiles page. Here you can see all profiles that are available in your Simbox control installation. You can find the list of all available official profiles on our webpage. If you want to import some profile from web, just click on the import button and select file location. By clicking docs, you can open documentation page in your web browser. It contains all information about Simbox control, Simbox client and also the AUA project. That's it for now. I hope you'll enjoy Simbox. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Join our Discord server to get help from other users and developers.